Hey guys, we're going to be working on how do we take information that we're given and how do we turn it into a graph. So your central question for today for your notes is how do I turn information we're given into a graph. Now obviously as you go, pause where you need to. When we hit the problems that I'm going to have you guys practice, I'm just going to go straight through them in the graph or in the video, so please stop as you need to, do your work, and then double check them. So, we're going to be, yesterday we were given a graph when we were taking information off of it. Today we're going to do the reverse of that. So, as a quick review, x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Remember, the x-intercepts are what hits the x-axis. So, for example, x-intercept is right there. And the y-intercept is right there. And then in terms of writing them out, we need to write out the exact point. And so the x-intercepts always have the x value where it's hitting the x-axis and a zero for your y value. Likewise, the y-intercept always has a zero for y or zero for x and then the y value. So in this case here, now we're given the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So the first thing that we have to do, the most important part, is plot what we're given. And then from there, we can draw the line. So in this case, let me finish writing this out first. So the given information that we have is the negative 3, 0. So there's my x-intercept. Always good to label your points. And there's the y intercept 0, 2. And then you're going to connect the dots. Now, I would recommend instead of trying to freehand this, you take a straight edge. So take a piece of paper, fold it in half a couple of times. You can use that as a straight edge. You can use your ID as a straight edge. If you have a ruler, you can use that as a straight edge. Any of those will work. And draw yourself a very, very nice, pretty line. And obviously, don't make it too thick because obviously it's going to be hard to read. So I'm going to shrink mine up a tad. Um, but again, it should be going through both of your points, and then it should be good to go. We'll do one more. Well, actually, well, here, go ahead and feel free. If you want to try it and then double check it, that's fine. I'll talk you through. Pause as you need to. So in this case here, again, plotting the x-intercept at negative 7, 0. Plotting the point at 0, 5. Connect the dots. And there's a really cruddy drawn line free him. So it's always better to make a nice line so that nobody has any questions about it and people are impressed. Next one. Pause here. Try it. So you plot your two points, connect the dots. <coughs> okay, now this one's a little different because we're talking about decreasing and increasing. When it says falls here, so we're sketching a graph, the y intercepts at zero, zero. So that's important. And the falls between the x values of negative 6 and 6. That means it's going to be decreasing. So as x is getting bigger, the values are getting smaller. So plot your point. And then from here, in reality, you can draw a whole number of hosts of lines. Okay? I'm not saying how steep it should be. So, you know, there's kind of the standard line there. However, you could also draw other lines, one that's not so steep. or one that's much steeper. And so when I draw these, I'm going to draw a number of different lines. You only need to draw one, remember. All right, try this one. So we're going to plot 0, negative 7. 
And now it says rises between the x values of negative 2 and 0. So that means it's going to be getting larger as we head in. But again, you can have any sort of angle that you want. It could be steep. It could be sort of. <coughs> Hit pause. Try this one. So after you draw your point, if you want to, you can put points from negative 4 to 3 that will be going down. And then just draw something. But again, any of these lines would be fine. You only need to draw one. Sketch a vertical line. So again, x-intercept. Try to remind yourself what a vertical line looks like. So that's running up and down. So you're going to plot the x-intercept and then draw your line. Now again, poorly drawn line. Sloppy line. You know, it's going to look, you're going to look sloppy. We don't want that. So take a straight edge out, draw a nice line. If you're doing this on a computer, obviously draw a nice line with your tools. And there you go. So the next couple, try, hit pause, and then check your answer. Move on to the next one, hit pause, try it, move on to the next one, and check your work. And plot your y-intercept and draw lines that match the description. Pause as you need to. And that's it.